outside. <laughs> In the age of electrification, there are players, both new and old, who are not afraid to put everything on the line to win the biggest jackpot. And sometimes, they have to not only act faster, but also pave new roads to completely change the rules of the game. First, let's start with the most popular automaker, which plans to electrify half of its vehicles for the global market by 2025. For a long time, Toyota has been focusing on hybrid technologies, and even though the company has unveiled the images of its upcoming fully electric cars, they think that pushing for a mass transition to battery electric vehicles is currently not a good idea, since all electric vehicles are too expensive for an average buyer. So what is Toyota waiting for to protect its top position in the future leaderboard? Actually, current lithium-ion batteries that are the main power source for electric cars have limited ability to sufficiently deliver the performance, regarding the real driving range and charging speeds without sacrificing the interior space and increasing the price of the car. And while Tesla is working on achieving a breakthrough in the very lithium-ion technology, there are serious players in the market that are focused on other solutions which promise to be game-changing. One of the solutions is the solid-state battery technology that Toyota plans to adopt for its upcoming EVs as its main trump in the race. The leading car manufacturer has announced it will be ready to start producing cars with solid-state batteries in the very near future that can significantly change the automotive world. And this is not surprising, since over the past 10 years, Toyota has received more than 1,000 different patents related to solid-state batteries and understands the essence of the challenging technology better than any other company. So what about having an electric SUV for the masses that offers more than 300 miles of range and can be charged in just 10 minutes without requiring huge cooling systems? Besides, these figures can significantly improve over time and the battery will enable the vehicle to operate about 240,000 miles. That's exactly what Toyota is promising to offer in two years. As the solid-state technology comparably requires fewer manufacturing steps and allows eliminating anode host material, it will be cheaper to produce. But since it's new in the market, the first solid-state battery-powered vehicles probably won't be cheaper than even the current EVs. Besides, solid-state batteries will have a higher energy density, which will not only allow the car to be lighter, but will also make the interior more spacious due to a more compact battery pack design. Therefore, there is no doubt if Toyota succeeds in utilizing the technology, it will have a huge impact on the industry. At the moment, diesel engine-powered trucks are the most effective solution. But the fact is, they account for over 23% of transport emissions. And Tesla couldn't ignore this problem and offers such a solution that promises to provide unprecedented efficiency in the delivery process. In a few years, the company will reach the expected breakthrough of its novel lithium-ion battery technology to its full potential, which will eventually allow it to achieve a practical driving range of 620 miles and have the same cargo capacity as a regular diesel truck. The range certainly wouldn't be achieved without Semi's highly aerodynamic design, which has got far less drag coefficient than any other conventional truck. One of the main factors is the Semi's narrow cabin featuring backward inclination, as well as the replacement of the standard big wing mirrors with cameras, but that solution still needs to be improved for operating in the US. One of the most important safety achievements is the ability to avoid jackknifing due to independent motors on each wheel, which allows the system to dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel. Safety is also ensured by an impact-resistant front glass and a bunch of systems that inform the driver about any possible danger and can automatically activate the brakes. And most importantly, although the long-range semi is offered at $180,000, which is several tens of thousands more expensive than the comparable diesel models, Tesla promises overall up to $200,000 in operational costs. What else does a smart business need to acquire semi? Only to wait for the model to be put into mass production, which apparently depends on the timing of Tesla's new 4680 battery cell delivery. In the near future, revolutionary news can be expected not only from the existing automakers. Would you imagine driving a vehicle offered by a company whose products you are used to seeing in your pocket or on your desk? Nonsense? Not at all. 
it could become true if Apple finally launches its electric car, which is coming to provide you with an unforgettable riding experience. Apple has received many impressive patents, which can help us imagine what we can expect from a car with an Apple icon on the hood. One of the interesting innovations is the holographic heads-up display, which is designed to enhance the driving process by providing all important data in a much more convenient way. Unlike conventional heads-up displays, Apple has taken a more flexible approach by using micro-mirrors on the windshield that help direct the light, projected from any angle correctly towards the driver. Moreover, using the technology of LiDAR for heads-up display system is another of Apple's advantages, which on the example of iPhone 12 Pro can locate objects much more accurately featuring LiDAR in addition to cameras. As a result, the system will inform about various obstacles very accurately and help navigate with ease. The enhanced virtual display technology also deserves our special attention. It allows passengers to perform work while riding in the vehicle without being distracted by extraneous factors. In one example, the system projects stabilized virtual content a passenger wants to view, such as a book, fixed in the external environment. In this way, a passenger could read the page corresponding with physical motions they are experiencing, while still seeing visual cues about the car's movements. This will allow working or reading in comfort without experiencing motion sickness, which may occur if the passenger tries to view the content on a physical screen of a portable computing device sitting on their lap. Thus, the system will aid in productivity while riding in a car, especially a self-driving one. Apple will obviously benefit from the company's huge staff, constantly working on autonomous technologies and considering the company's huge experience in computer vision, which is also going to utilize the LiDAR technologies, the car has a big potential to perceive its environment better than human eyes. Apple has also patented a charging station with passive alignment mechanism that enables the car to auto-connect to a charging station without human help after being parked next to the charger which will be great for robo-taxi if Apple manages to make their car fully autonomous. Before Apple enters the big auto industry, Tesla has already announced its intention to produce a $25,000 electric car, proving that a good electric car can be available to the masses. First, the model will be designed and produced in China and will be available globally in two years. So far, only one official rendering of the future affordable car is available, hinting that the model will most likely be offered in a hatchback body, which has a very high demand in Europe and Asia. However, in order to achieve the desired price of $25,000, it will not be enough to simply make a smaller car. With an expected range of more than 200 miles, the key to cut down the cost will be the fulfillment of Tesla's latest battery technology. As the model will feature self-driving capabilities as well, let's see if it will be fully autonomous at the time it goes global. Besides, the US government subsidies of up to $7,500 might be returned for Tesla soon, which, if applied, will allow the hatchback to become a real bestseller in the market segment. So the market giants have a lot to worry about. Tesla also prepares to install its latest battery pack in the highly anticipated Cybertruck, which has forced other manufacturers to rethink the traditional approaches about making a pickup. Instead of a traditional body-on-frame structure which would give extra weight to an electric vehicle, Tesla has taken a unique approach by using a monocoque body structure built from ultra-hard stainless steel. Thanks to that, the vehicle becomes not only lighter and more durable, but it also simplifies the manufacturing process and helps reduce costs. Because of an exoskeleton design, the truck may look like an alien from the future, but it underlines and contributes to all the qualities of this type of vehicle, such as durability, versatility, and functionality. Tesla's Cybertruck will enter the market in three different variants. All of them come with a payload capacity of up to 3,500 pounds, while the maximum ground clearance of 16 inches can be adjusted while driving. Besides, the Cybertruck is a real beast when it comes to towing. The most powerful tri-motor configuration can pull a trailer weighing up to 14,000 pounds. The owners will even be able to power a camper with their electric truck. 
It can go up to 500 miles and reach 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds, challenging even the quickest sports cars. The price of the top modifications ranges from $50,000 to $70,000, but here the main advantage can be the cost of ownership. From this point of view, even the Tri-Motor Cybertruck could be attractive enough to steal the customers from Ford. What's your vision of the future electric cars, and what do you think about the revolution promised by these companies? If you want to have valuable information about the latest automotive technologies, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like this video. See you next time!